o'clock and it was around six o'clock in the evening that a protest rally was scheduled and we should point out that hundreds of people attended peacefully they voiced their concerns and they went home without incident but there was a splinter group that broke off as many as 80 maybe even as many as 150 people walking down Crenshaw Boulevard uh, along the way according to reports there were broken windows at one time we understand a large group of people ran through the Walmart here in the area. We know that people were jumping on top of cars, they were lighting fires, they were throwing things. LAPD called a full-on tactical alert. We understand as many as 350 officers were here in this area trying to keep the peace. In the meantime, one of the incidents that gathered the most attention, not just here locally but across the country, was when the news van got caught up in the melee. jurors in the Zimmerman trial. She has declined to show her face, but she is speaking out about the not guilty verdict in the case. KTLA's Lynette Romero joins us now live from the newsroom with those details. Good morning, Lynette. Good morning, Chris. That's right. We don't see her face. We don't know her name. But here is what we do know about juror B-37. She is a white, middle-aged woman who works as a chiropractor. Her father is an Air Force captain, her husband an attorney. She has two adult children. She says from the beginning of deliberations, she and two other jurors wanted to acquit, but at least one juror wanted a murder conviction. In the end, juror B-37 told CNN's Anderson Cooper they tried to follow the law. What do you think of George Zimmerman? I think George Zimmerman is a man whose heart was in the right place. It just went terribly wrong. Do you think he's guilty of something? I think he's guilty of not using good judgment. When he was in the car, and he had called 911, he shouldn't have gotten out of that car. After we had put our vote in, and the bailiff had taken our vote, that's when everybody started to cry. It was just hard, thinking that somebody lost their life, and there's nothing else could be done about it. It's what happened, it's sad. 
the tragedy that's happened, but it happened. After the verdict, George Zimmerman went into hiding, and he hasn't been seen since. In their first TV interview since this case began, his parents told ABC's Barbara Walters that any contact with their son would put them all in danger. Are you concerned for George's safety? Yes, I do. Yes, yes. Why? What do you think could happen? It, it, it's a lot of death threats on, you know, on the me social threats? media. Are you concerned about death threats? Have you had death threats? We well, had an enormous amount of death threats. As parents, what would you say to Trayvon Martin's parents? That we are deeply sorry for this tragedy. Deeply sorry. And we pray for that department. We pray for Trayvon Martin. Now, in light of the public outrage over this case, Attorney General Eric Holder reiterated that the Justice Department is still looking into civil rights charges against Zimmerman, although he says so far their investigation hasn't found any evidence that George Zimmerman has a history of racial bias. And by the way, juror B-37 was planning to write a book, apparently, but she has changed her mind. She says now that she's back with her family, she just wants to move on with her life. Lynette Romero from our newsroom. We are here at home. A brush fire in the San Jacinto Mountains continues to grow. The fire broke out yesterday afternoon.